Hey everybody, Coach Clay back with the fourth video in the uh, four video series of Kettlebell Turkish Get Ups. Uh, this being the fourth step, the windmill. So start from the ground up, we're moving on into the Turkish Get Up and pausing at step four. So showing you step four uh, and forward and reverse. Uh, and again, just remember if you are watching this and you're playing along at home, uh, consult your physician, your doctor, uh, whoever it is uh, that you need to consult first before you engage in physical activity. If you're regularly active, um, do this at your own risk. Um, other than that, these are just my recommendations and how I coach the Turkish Get Up and why I do it the way I do is to make sure that you are using the uh, your muscles in the most optimal way as well as decreasing your risk of injury. So let's begin. So Turkish Get Up starts from the ground up. So if my right leg is down, my right arm will be up. Fetal position, roll into your start position from the bottom up, ground up, exhale, start with your get up. Flat the hand, bridge the hips, sweep the knee. So that knee sweep was in the third video we just watched. So now we're into the windmill. So I'll get a good angle for you. So windmill, the hand is in line with the knee. And at this point I need to use my obliques and all the muscles within the internal hips to stabilize, so keep your eyes up on the uh, kettlebell or the dumbbell, whatever you're using, and slowly bring the hand in towards the knee, pushing up to the ceiling. And from this position, you can what's called the windshield wipe, that back knee. Notice biceps to ear, knuckles are up. So in reverse, that was step four. So in reverse, two-step process, do your windshield wiper with your knee, hand on the thigh, slide the hand down to the ground, as soon as you get down to the ground, you're good. So I'm gonna drop this, bring this kettlebell kind of down real quick and show you a couple keys on what you don't wanna do. So when you're in this position in step four, have the knee planted directly underneath the hip and hopefully from the sweep in step three, that knee's planted directly under the hip. So this helps with proprioception, kind of learning where your body's at in time and space. So as you bring this hand in, your hip should be up away from your foot because you're, you're gonna need space from the hip to the heel in order to do your stand or your, or your kick out when you're coming down out of the Turkish get up. So make sure from this position you're not sitting back on the heel. Puts a lot of pressure on the plantars. This would be a good stretch, but if I'm gonna be loaded, I want good balance and I'm not very well balanced on my toes as much as I am on a strong base is my knee. So make sure you're keeping your hips up, you're stable, more stable on your knees, less pressure on the plantars and the toes. As we're sweeping the arm in, so from this angle here, I'm straight out from my side. So if I'm upright, this is lateral, hands on the thigh, slide it down to the knee, windshield wipe that toe in, I can bring the hand out. I don't have to go backwards because now I'm in an even more compromised and harder to control position, especially on the descent. So now my arm is actually going to be hyperextended as I get into my plant. And obviously if you hyperextend a muscle, not very good. You can extend and flex, but hyperextending, uh, you get into risky business there. So how to practice the windmill uh, on its own. You stand, feet together, widen out your base. Uh, shoulders or sh shoulder width or wider. You take whatever object you're going to use, your kettlebell, your dumbbell, uh, you can just practice on your hand and you're going to reach up to the ceiling. Now whatever hand is up, that leg is posted forward. My free side, my open side, I'm actually going to pivot that toe out and I'm going to shift my the weight of my hips onto my stable side. So if my left arm is up, my stable side is the left. So I'm going to shift my hips to the left, I'm going to slide this hand down, as low as I can go and I can practice the windmill standing here, pushing the hips out, bringing the hips back. And remember when you get back up to this uh, uh, upright position, erect position, you want head, shoulders, hips, everything in line again. So I don't want to end with my hip cocked out again and starting into that next windmill. I want to line up completely as I would here in this Turkish get up. I'd line up completely and get ready for my lunge. Uh, another piece of advice, during that windmill is sometimes people complain about the knee, sweeping the, uh, the movement called the windshield wiper. So I'd bring my toe up and I'd rotate and pivot on the knee. You can also just leave that leg planted and I can pivot 
my entire body, decreasing the amount of tension I feel on that knee. So if you have knee issues or anything like that, uh, you can uh, try pivoting the body on that knee instead of grinding that knee in a circle with the, with the windmill. Uh, you can use mats on the ground for this, but I tend to find that you'll move around a lot. Uh, again, this is a good exercise to practice barefoot. Uh, so feel free to take the shoes off. You don't have to practice with weight. You can do this unweighted. Uh, you can do it with kettlebells. You can do it with dumbbells. You can do it with your shoe, with, with an ab mat. Uh, whatever you can control, just keep your eyes up. Uh, it's a full body movement, so be ready to take it slow and take it one step at a time. You know, watch the full video, full length video, and then watch you know, step one, step two, step three, step four, and keep your eyes out for step number five coming up. Again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Coach Clay with the five-step process of the Turkish Get Up.